In this video, uh, we want to present to you some rather compelling evidence that would substantiate the belief that the Earth is now in the midst of an erratic wobble, which in turn is contributing to the extreme Earth and climate changes that are having such a profound effect upon our planet at this time. We often get numerous comments from viewers and occasionally from our subscribers that Earth and climate changes are just part of the natural process of a world that is continuously changing. And this has been true in some respects throughout our existence. But what we are now experiencing across the globe in the way of extreme weather events and also catastrophic Earth changes, they go beyond the scope of natural occurrences. They are becoming unprecedented in nature. In one of our recent videos, we presented an article from National Geo Geographic, which indicates that scientists now believe that climate change is causing the poles to shift at an accelerated rate. But if you really take the time to analyze the data and study the facts, wouldn't it make more sense to conclude that it is actually the shifting poles that are causing the sudden change in the world's climate? You might ask, how is that so? And so we, we would ask to you, go back and look at the history of the world. There has in fact been a number of pole shifts throughout the existence of this planet. And just because the world is now inhabited by humans who are living in a modern technological age, well, this doesn't mean that a major pole shift is outside the realm of possibility in our lifetime. It is, however, conceivable that we are now in the initial stage of the pole shift that Edgar Cayce envisioned and that which Albert Einstein had acknowledged would occur. So we can speculate as to why we are witnessing these sudden changes on our planet and what might be causing these changes, but the facts do speak for themselves as to exactly what is happening at this time. Some of you keep insisting that we show irrefutable evidence that the Earth is being turned upside down and that a rogue planet in our solar system is responsible for the Earth shifting on its axis, which is a belief now held by the Inuit elders who have observed the skies and the sun for a generation. Then there are others of you who claim that we have been saying for the last 15 years, that Planet X would be coming. Well, all we can tell you is that we have been waiting for 3,600 years for its return. A planet which is five times the size of Earth that moves in a retrograde orbit. This isn't going to be the type of planet that travels at a rapid pace across our solar system. Then again, if the planet were visible to the naked eye, would you then believe? We will tell you this, that the world is beginning to see a period of great tribulation, and the arrival of Planet X may come much sooner than any of us would have imagined. Now, we are not trying to be fear mongers or alarmists. There are already too many of them out there. We are just trying to present common sense evidence to the public. So here are some of the things we know for sure. Earth changes are increasing dramatically worldwide. In fact, since 2012, earthquake and volcanic activity has risen on a phenomenal level. Volcanoes are approaching 40 eruptions per day. That's right. Hard to believe, but true. Earthquakes in the Ring of Fire are more frequent and are occurring in unusual areas where people are not accustomed to them. So first off, let's examine the details of the unprecedented earthquakes happening in 2016.
The earthquake activity along the Pacific Ring of Fire has been nothing short of unprecedented. From coast to coast, there have been a surge of activity that earthquake researchers are taking note of at this time. In February, or on February the 16th of uh, 2016, a report from a stuff .co.nz reported a 6.0 magnitude earthquake, which was felt as far south as Dunedin. Now, coincidentally, this earthquake was shown as a magnitude 5.9 on the EMSC website, which would be different from what was shown on the GeoNet site. There have been a number of recent earthquakes taking place in New Zealand that range in magnitude of 4.3 down to 3.6 and then of course the 6.0 that was just recently recorded. But of all the earthquakes 3.0 or greater uh, that were shallow in death, this is a spike in activity that is more dangerous because the tremors are happening near the surface. The earthquake activity that has been recorded on the RSOE website is from the uh, last two days alone, which is also very alarming. With the Alpine Fault overdue for a major quake and the amount of activity taking place at, at the moment, we feel it is wise for New Zealanders to be ready. We should also note that California is continuing to experience tremors with some rare earthquakes recently, along with several smaller earthquakes all taking place within the last few days. Now, moving down to South America, there has been a spike in earthquake activity in the past 24 hours measuring in the magnitude of 4.8 down to 3.6. Now this is a signal for pressure building up along these plates and that pressure has to release at some point in time. If you take a look at this chart uh, you will see that fireball events were recorded as in the hundreds per year in the year 2005. By 2011, there had been over 1,500 reports of fireballs. And since that time, it has dramatically increased to where in the year 2015, there were over 9,000 reports of fireballs. Now, it's interesting to note that the frequency of fireballs has increased by 120 percent between the years 2013 and 2014 and has risen another 20 percent between the years 2014 and 2015. Now this is a significant increase and it should be generating a lot of attention but if it is then it's being done very quietly behind closed doors. Now looking at NASA's data month by month, we see that the fireball frequency is most concentrated in the months of August to December. However, the numbers for June and July are also increasing significantly, suggesting that the area of space from which asteroid and comet debris is reaching Earth and consequently into which the solar system is moving is increasing in size. NASA has also published data for near-Earth asteroids or NEAs uh, discoveries uh, since 1995. Their data shows a consistent increase in asteroid numbers from 1998 through the year 2013 and significant increases for 2014 and 2015, which shadows the uh, big increases in fireballs that were observed over those two years.
confirmed.